We're back with today's Consumer Confidential, focusing on the stories that impact your money and your family. And this morning, we've got some tips and tricks to actually help you take advantage of those rising interest rates. Even with the cost of borrowing money going up, there are ways to stretch mm -hmm. the paycheck and increase your savings. There are. Senior National Correspondent Carrie Sanders joins us with some of those ways. We're all ears, Carrie. Well, good morning. You know, the recent move by the Fed to again raise interest rates is all designed to slow or stop inflation, but it also has real impacts on us. So if you have a car loan, if you're carrying debt on your credit card, if you have a mortgage, some tips this morning that are all designed to save you money at a time when it seems like everything is more expensive. When interest rates rise, it's time to strategize, and that starts with the credit cards in your wallet. According to Bankrate, the average rate is now over 17%. If you do have credit card debt, you can move that balance to a 0% balance transfer card to avoid paying interest for a few months up to more than a year. Another option, lower your rate, and often, all you have to do is pick up the phone and ask. Go in with some ammunition in the form of offers you've seen at other sites and then use that to frame the conversation. LendingTree found that 70% of people who asked for a lower rate actually got one with an average reduction of nearly 7%. Tiffany Williams is a mother of three who struggled with debt. She's now reduced her rate multiple times. The more you do it, the more you get used to it and you start kind of becoming a little bit more demanding once you realize that it's your money, not someone else's. After you reduce that rate, financial experts say make sure your credit card is working for you. Look at your year-end credit card statement from last year. This will give you a review of where you spent the most money, whether it was on travel, dining out, groceries. Then you can look for a credit card that offers more rewards for that specific spending category. If you're looking to buy a house, there are also ways to cut costs on your mortgage. First, make a bigger down payment. The less money you borrow, the less interest you'll pay. Remember that you can refinance later once rates drop and don't forget to shop around. A lot of people will just go with a lender that they first found or that was recommended to them, but interest rates can vary by as much as 1% point from lender to lender, and that could translate into tens of thousands of dollars over the life of your loan. Doing your homework is also critical for car loans. Experts say with rising rates and limited inventory, this probably is not the best time to buy. But if you need new wheels now, try to lock in a lower pre-approved rate for financing instead of what the dealer offers. Getting a co-signer can also help lower your rate. And what kind of car you pick off the lot matters. According to Edmonds, the average APR for a 2022 Subaru Legacy is 3.7%. A new Hyundai Sonata Hybrid will take you up to 4.5%, while a Nissan Altima is almost 7%. Some really good tips tips there, Kerry. Now some good news as well when it comes to uh, those prices at big box stores. Well, actually, you know, we see raising rates and inflation, but there is actually some good news here as well. Big box stores report that they have so much inventory like Walmart that they want to move out. So clothing and other items are now being priced at a lower price so they can move that inventory out. Target, Best Buy also looking at the same thing. And all of this fortunately happening at a time when people are going to begin that back to school shopping. Guys, that's right.